Anthony, you mentioned in a piece, I guess, uh, yesterday, yes. today, yesterday, uh, something I certainly didn't know, which is that the Patriot Act is scheduled to legislatively expire unless it is re-upped in June. And now, I take it as a practical, realistic, political matter. I know you have called, the ACLU has called to allow it to die. That's not gonna happen, right? Well, we'll see. I, I'm actually hopeful. Um, yeah, How come? I have to be. Uh, well, okay, you have to be. You're existentially it's, hopeful. It's, it's in my job description. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. I, Any reason why the rest of us should be hopeful? Yeah, well, I mean, part of, part of what I, I find is an, is an important moment is that there's only a certain section of the Patriarch, Section 215, which expires. There are different parts oh, sorry, that yes, expire right. It's 215 that expires, right. And that's the, that's the part that authorizes the government to do this dragnet surveillance, both of your telephone records and of your email records. It's the one that's directly on point with the Snowden programs that he revealed through, his, through the documents that he released to journalists. And so it's the first moment that we're going to come back to this question of the surveillance powers of the government in the aftermath of the Snowden revelation. So I actually think it's been renewed before, usually very routinely, very rote. We pass it for a number of years. It sunsets for four or six years. And we come back to it and we routinely re reauthorize it. I think this time around with the Snowden revelations, and this time around also because you have the beginnings of this alignment between the liberal left and the libertarian right. And so you have this unique moment when we can coincide with members of the Republican Party in ways that we've never been able to before. And so you have you know, individuals like Senator Wyden and Senator Rand Paul who are both saying it's time to let this provision of the Patriot Act uh, uh, expire. And so I think there's enough grist in the mill to kind of really have a moment when we can stop our legislators and force them to answer the questions we have as a, as a public and not have just this routine rubber stamp reauthorization.